How's it going, bros and gals? We are back with the new episode of Pokemon Black Gameplay with Rasmatas. So, we just left Professor Juniper's lab after we got our Pokedex and our starter Pokemon and such. And on our way out, and on our way to Route 1, we met my mom here, or not my real mom, but this character's mom. Who, was, who gave us our town map and wishing us good luck with our journey and such speaking about the room that we destroyed with our first Pokemon battle and then she held this speech, parents speech and such have a great trip thank you if I use the town map I'll always know where I am thanks Captain Morbius we don't say. Yeah, let's proceed. After Captain Obvious and Bianca. Yes, it's this way. So yeah, Bianca suggested that we should take our first step in on our journey together into Route One. So we are in Route One, and the professor is waiting for us. And Professor Juniper is going to show us how to catch a Pokemon. And she's explaining a little about the Pokedex, how it works. When you encounter a Pokemon, it will register in the Pokedex, and when you catch it, it will fill up the Pokedex with the information about it. So, <coughs> Juniper will try to catch a Petrat to show how to catch a Pokemon, and she's using her Minchino. Minchino is uh, actually a cute little fuzzy cute Pokemon too. Uh, I don't think Minchino is good at overall game, but it's a, a, it could be a good starter Pokemon for the first couple of badges you're gonna get. And she caught her pet shot. I'm very jealous of her. Who wouldn't want a threat? Just saying. Did you see that just now? No! Can you do it again? Okay. Uh, yes. She says that you can catch a Pokemon easier by lower its HP and you can also poison it, paralyze it, freeze it, burn it, and such things make it go to sleep and it will make you catch the Pokemon easier. And now Bianca is challenging us to a little competition on who can catch, catch the most Pokemon here on Route 1 before we reach the first town. And Sharon also thinks it's a good idea. So we will hold a competition to see who can catch the most Pokemon in here in Group 1. So yeah, challenge accepted. Let's see if we can encounter Pokemon, but we are skipping ahead. I just changed my Miss Ruffle to a level 6 if you haven't noticed. So yeah, you want to talk to this girl or boy, I think it is, and she'll give you a potion, a little item that uh, increases a Pokemon's, your Pokemon's HP by 20, a little needy thing to use in the beginning here, so yeah, we are skipping a lot ahead, okay, right, alright, here's a Petrat, it's a little uh, squirrel, Beaver thing Pokemon. Uh, I wouldn't recommend catching it and use it uh, in the whole game because I don't. I just think it's a good Pokemon in the beginning and not overall the game. I think it's this game's Rattata, if you can say that Rattata and Radicate. So yeah, I'm not taking any risks, so I had to use my potion on here. And we got a critical hit. 
that was very lucky. So yeah, I thought when well, now its HP is so low and it's so high leveled, why not catch it? Because level 4 is the, that is the highest level we can catch a Pokemon here. And we caught it, as you can see on the right side of the, of the screen. Yes, and here's the information about the Patrat, a scout Pokemon. And we won't give it a nickname because I don't think we will use it. So let us proceed to the next battle. And here's the second Pokemon we can meet at this route at Route 1. It's a Pokemon called Lillipop. And as you can see, it's a little dog puppy Pokemon at level 2. It is a normal type like Petret. Uh, I think Lillipop and its evolutions are better than Petret in overall the game because they Lillipop evolves into three stages and can actually be pretty useful if you like dogs and such. And yeah, we caught it. Puppy Pokemon, normal type. Very cute, of course. Not, maybe not that original, but yeah. There's many Pokemon that are very, uh, not very original made. So yeah, we just reached to level 7 in a critical hit. I mean, Miss Ruffle learned Water Gun, a water type move that is actually pretty good. So yeah, we reached the end of our con competition here. Yeah. So let's see who won. I caught a uh, free Pokemon. And apparently I caught the most. So yeah, like a mouse. Catching Pokemon like a mouse. So there we are off to Accumula Town. But then uh, the Extrensive are, are calling and it's Professor Juniper that are calling us. And she's telling us that she's in front of the Pokemon Center in the town that's it's coming up here. And it's a little cool device. This it's a phone thing that also has a webcam of some sort in it so that you can see the ones who you are calling in your little like a little watch thing. And then I thought there was something down here, but there wasn't, so we are skipping ahead. And here's Professor Juniper in front of the Pokemon Center. And we will go into the Pokemon Center with her. So she will show us around and tell about the things you can do in here. Let's start our your tour. Let's do that. There's Bianca. Oh, wait for me. Of course. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed. And what's more, it's absolutely free! Yay, it's free! I don't know if it's actually free, maybe our parents in this game are paying it through taxes. <laughs> I don't know. Not really our problem, because we are 10 year old kids. Or whatever age we are. So we restored our Pokemon. And we are continuing the tour. Our Pokemon have rested, and she will now show us the PC. It's free to use for any trainer, and you can store your Pokemon in PC boxes, or select Pokemon stored in your in your team. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm mumbling here. You can take Pokemon from the box and put it into your team. When you catch, you can only catch six Pokemon at a time. So when you're catching your seventh Pokemon, it will be transferred to the PC. Because you can't have more than 6 per 1 on your team. Someone's PC! Who is someone? And we should just ignore that, she says, Professor Juniper. Someone is the person who made the Pokemon storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Okay, let's move on. Here's a little neat thing. Uh, in this, this new generation, they removed the Markets or mods, Pokemon mods, that's usually right next to the Pokemon Center, and they 
they placed the mod inside the Pokemon Center actually. So if you go into the Pokemon Center and buy your Pokeballs, potions, TMs and such, and that's actually pretty neat, I think, because then you save a lot of space around the city. Oh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important. Typical girls. So yeah, I just I just bought a shitload of potions. I don't take any risks risks and we'll let Bianca shop. If she's ever gonna shop and if she can decide what to buy. So yeah, we are storing our Petrat and Lillipop in the boxes because I don't really need them. So yeah, I'm a terrible person, but that's it. Sounds like something's going on at the plaza. Let's go ahead, look see. So yeah, let's do that. And apparently I'm on my way somewhere else. But Sharon catches me and let's see what happens. Is it a parade? A parade, maybe? Let's see. My name is Getsis. Getsis. I'm here to representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk, talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Ooh, what? I'm not. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? No way! Yikes! I don't know! Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potentials. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Bye! Alright troops, come on up! Protect this, protect the chief! One, two, three, four! Left! One, two, three, four! One, two, three, four! One, two, three, four! So yeah, we are getting towards the end. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible! Yeah, we are reaching the end, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.